Ishmael Kone, formerly of New Orleans, now competing for Florida State University and representing Cote d'Ivoire internationally. Now, you might have seen that he opened up his season in the 60 meter dash this weekend, along with Fay Vache from Nigeria, who we'll get to in a moment, along with a couple others at the Clemson University Invitational. There, Kone ran a personal best time of 6.51 seconds, taking over a tenth of a second off his previous best of 6.66. But this race is a bit more significant than just a personal best. This likely has an impact on what will transpire in the NCAA and maybe even more importantly, what this means for his country of Cote d'Ivoire and even Africa as a whole. Kone came into the NCAA as a strong recruit from the state of Texas, first attending the University of Texas Arlington in 2020. Of course, the world went into lockdown that year, so though he had a partial indoor season, he never got to see through his freshman year. He eventually transferred to New Orleans in the fall of 2020, and he immediately took off. In that year, he got his 100 meter personal best down to 10.90 seconds, qualifying him for the 2021 NCAA Outdoor Championships. That now made him the fifth fastest man in the history of Cote d'Ivoire and really indicated the trajectory and direction that his career was likely headed towards. The following year, during the 2022 indoor season, he dropped his 60 meter personal best to 6.66 seconds, which was a huge mark coming down from running 6.8s in the previous year. He also got very consistent running 6.67 and 6.69 during that season as well. Once outdoors hit though, he really showed up. 10.10 .10 in his 100 meter season opener at the Texas Relays was an indication that he had not lost a step and was ready to just springboard right from where he left off in 2021. He also ran windy times of 10.03, 10.01, and 9.94. And that 9.94 only had a wind of plus 2.8 meters per second. So yes, of course it's windy, but it's not like a 4.1 or something like that. But fast forward to the NCAA East preliminary rounds. In the first round, Kone drops the hammer with a time of 10 seconds flat, a huge personal best, and immediately put him on the map as one of the top athletes in the NCAA. Additionally, he was now just on the cusp of being top 30 all time in African history. And considering the history of Africa in the sprints, this was no small feat. Kone unfortunately didn't make the finals at the NCAA championships in the 100 meter dash, though he did go on to represent Cote d'Ivoire for the first time at the 2022 World Championships in Oregon. Now, enter 2023, and Kone is now running for Florida State University. He opens up in 6.51 seconds, a personal best in his 60 meter dash, and moves him to number 13 in NCAA history. What's even more notable about this is it actually breaks the national Ivorian record of 6.53 seconds held by Arthur Cisse from back in 2019. And Cisse, of course, is the 100 meter dash national record holder. Additionally, it now moves Kone to number six all time in the 60 meter dash in African history. Again, this performance is not to be taken lightly. In addition to all the historical reasons I noted earlier, what makes this specific race even more notable were the other athletes that Kone ran against. Favre Ache of Nigeria was also in this race. And Ache last year had run 6.51 seconds in the 60 meter dash. Meaning that Kone and Ache share the same personal best and the same number six all time spot in African history. Now this sets up not only a great matchup between the two of them throughout the indoor and outdoor seasons, but this will likely inspire them to push the boundaries of what's possible for African sprinting as a whole. Both of them are still in their early 20s, so their careers are just getting started at this point. But considering they are on the cusp of being considered two of the best in African history, their performances really indicate that they will be some of the leaders of the next generation in African sprinting. As noted, this is only the first week of competition, so we will almost certainly see Kone, along with others like Ashe, go much faster this year. And what I want you to do is keep a lookout for the time of 6.45 seconds. That's not only an NCAA record, but that's the African record in the 60 meter dash as well. So don't be surprised if Kone or Ashe take that mark down in just a few weeks. So let me know what you think about Ishmael Kone and some of the other top 60 meter guys in the NCAA. Do you think either Kone or maybe Ashe will be able to take down that 6.45 African record in the 60 meter dash? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.